Hi everyone, welcome back to Kids Church at Home. This week we start a brand new book of the Bible and it's a letter book. It's a letter written by a man called James. Now James had a big brother. Do you have a big brother? I do. My big brother's name is Joe. And when I was a bit younger and it was time for me to learn how to drive, my big brother took me on my first driving lesson. You can learn some pretty cool things from your big brother. And James learned some pretty cool things from his big brother. But there's a difference because James's big brother was someone super special. James's big brother was Jesus. James wrote a letter about all the things that he had learnt from his big brother. And the main message in his letter was that people who love Jesus have got to match their hearts for Jesus with what they say and what they do. I've got a story for you about someone who thinks that they are pretty good at matching things, but she's got some things to learn about how to match her heart with what she says and what she does. This is Millie. Millie was great at matching things. She spent extra time every morning making sure every part of her outfit matched. If it was yellow day, everything was yellow. If it was red day, everything was red, even her shoelaces. And if it was blue day, everything was blue, even her hair ribbons. On a brown day, everything was brown. On a green day, everything was green and you get the picture. But there was one thing that Millie was not good at matching. She wasn't good at matching what was in her heart with what she said and did. See, Millie had a best friend called Ollie. Hello! And in her heart, she knew that Ollie was her best friend. She especially liked the way his hair perfectly matched hers. There were lots of friendly feelings in Millie's heart, but sometimes she was very unfriendly to her Ollie, and that wasn't a match. Like the time when she laughed at Ollie's new glasses. <laughs> Those glasses look ridiculous. Or the time she invited all her friends to her birthday party, but forgot to invite Ollie. Ooh, a birthday party. How exciting. Hooray! Hooray! Birthday! Um, Millie? Uh, am I allowed to come to your birthday party? Oh, Ollie. Uh, whoops. I forgot. Oh. And there was that time when Ollie and Millie were playing outside and she came up behind him and pushed him down the slide when he wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Ollie had had enough. Millie, you're my friend, but sometimes you are so not friendly and that just doesn't match. Millie felt cross at first, but then she realised Ollie was right. And then she felt terrible. There had to be a way to make things right. The next day, Millie gave Ollie a present. When he opened it, Millie explained, I've got you some special matching pants and a matching jacket. It matches my outfit. And when you wear it, it'll remind me to be friendly to my friends. It will remind me that my heart needs to match the things I say and do. <laughs> Millie loved to match her outfits, didn't she? But poor Ollie noticed that she wasn't very good at matching her heart with what she said and what she did. She had friendly feelings in her heart, but she said unfriendly things and did unfriendly things, and that's not a match. People who love Jesus need to be good at matching, not our clothes, that's not very important, but we need to be good at matching our hearts with what we say and what we do. So this week in your kids pack, 
You have a story about James and Jesus, and you have some matching cubes, so you can practice a different kind of matching. But each week we're going to be learning about a different part of us that needs to match our hearts for Jesus. And I hope you love learning from James's letter this term. See you next time.